can't believe it. I'm so excited. Yes, I know my battery's dying. I know, I know. Um, when you almost gave up on finding new mugs, and then they come out and they're in your cart. <laughs> Yay! Ah! Why is ah? I'm so excited. Something is wrong with this serve. <laughs> it's leaning. No, I didn't see it. Well, yay. I'm excited. I, I wasn't expecting to find anything today, I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect them to have anything here. Me either. For sure. More excellent well, planters. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, so it is Thursday. I just left um, an opening that I went to and I am pleasantly surprised because I almost gave up. Um, coming to openings in my local area because I have not been having the best luck but shockingly first of all I was shocked two times one I was shocked because home goods in my area actually had something versus TJ Maxx TJ Maxx had not been having anything since what day was that that I went there Tuesday so Tuesday I lucked up and I got the mugs and then today I was able to go back over but they didn't have anything today which is odd but home goods did home goods actually had a decent spread I was like oh my god so I went to TJ Maxx first they didn't have anything I walked over to home goods there was enough stuff to where the there must have been like six or seven of us looking for radon <clears throat> and we all were able to get a couple pieces in our carts. I think that's a pretty good hunt. That's how it's supposed to be. People aren't supposed to be trying to snatch every last piece off the shelf and hoard it for themselves for their own whatever reasons. Like, um, one girl was able to get, like, coffee and cookies and she got a platter. And then, like, another girl, she got, like, a couple butter dishes and a baked dish. Um, another girl was able to get some more baked dishes and a platter. I was able to pick up um, a couple different items. I got a cheese board and a platter. And the cheese board isn't for me. Um, the platter, uh, what else did I get? I got another baking dish and I got measuring cups. So that was pretty awesome. Oh, and I got a little um, hip hop canister. So that was awesome as far as finding stuff um, in that area because they usually don't ever have anything. Um, I was a little bit bummed that I didn't get the coffee canister, but I wasn't over there when they first opened. I came over like five minutes later. So, you know, first come, first serve. You can't really be mad if you don't get something, you know, like just congratulate the person on their fine and keep it moving. That's basically all I did. Um, I was happy for her. I had stuff in my cart. I really have no complaints. I went over there with no intentions on finding anything and I found a good bit of stuff. So now that my 
uh, purse is a little lighter, I'm gonna go home and grab some lunch and work on um, editing a couple videos for you guys because I'm a little bit behind and I wanna make sure like I put the content out so you can see what's coming out. There's so much new, <clears throat> there's so much new stuff coming out that it's very hard to keep up with and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Like all the new mugs that dropped this week, they're cute, I really like them. Like I'm happy with the new mugs that dropped this week. But then um, like, What is it? I think it's the, the nautical theme stuff and the beach theme stuff that's coming out. And then there's just like some random canisters that came out with new sayings. Like some people love them, some people don't. I'm just like, I don't really know what to think. I'm like, there's just a lot of stuff coming out and I really am just trying to focus on sticking to the essentials as far as my collection is concerned. So like as far as canisters go, you know, coffee, sugar, tea, flour, like that's what I need, need things that I can actually use um, and then picking up a couple of specialty canisters like I'm not opposed to it uh, but I don't need like the whole collection of the specialty canisters especially not with some of the prices of the canisters like the hip-hop canister that I got today was only ten dollars like that was a really good find but the rest of them nah no thank you I don't need 14 15 20 dollar canisters in every holiday season like some people want to do that and decorate for that but i'm like it's just not that necessary one here one there you're good to go so that's just my take on it but to each their own i'm not mad at you if that's what you want to do with your money but that's just not what i want to do with my money so um together with my haul from going out of town and then telling myself i'm not going to come in here and um hunt in my local area anymore because I never find anything to having two really great days in my local area I think it's pretty amazing um my local area has been shocking me but it's not just them shocking me it's also about timing um timing is everything because your area could be getting something but you could just be missing it so keep that in mind um and just stay patient with it you guys it takes a while it doesn't happen overnight people don't get a whole massive uh hutch full of pottery in one day or in one week or even one month like that's unrealistic if you were running around to every tj maxx marshalls and home goods every day all day you probably still would not find um all that stuff because it's it just depends on when they put stuff out there's, I, I've realized that a lot of the stores are now switching up when they put out stuff. So there's really no real surefire way to tell anymore because they're just putting it out as it comes in. So what can you do? So on a side note, I've been thinking about doing like giveaways. I know a lot of people have been like, you know, just wondering, am I going to give stuff away or asking, am I going to give stuff away? I definitely plan to do a giveaway. Um, Right now, my giveaways will probably just consist of mugs more than anything because I have a really good stash of mugs now and enough to where I feel like I might have duplicates of something and I can share a couple mugs with somebody um, and that would be pretty easy for me to ship at the moment. Um, if I were to do like other types of giveaways like uh, bakeware or things like that, I definitely wouldn't be opposed to it, but I would just have to find it first. Um, because usually when I'm finding stuff, I get like one or two and one's for me and one's for someone else. So I would need to like have one of those days where I find like a bunch of stuff and I have the ability to buy more than one and you know, I can also do a giveaway with things like that as well. But for the giveaway, I don't know, I guess I'll start off with like mugs and then like my first giveaway will probably be somewhere around like a hundred subscribers or something like that an even number or 100 150 I don't know something like that like 150 subscribers and then like I do like a giveaway like I think that would be pretty pretty decent uh, so you guys comment down below if that's something you would like to see happen or if you have any suggestions so that would help me out tremendously
cannot wait to show you guys the mugs that I got this week. All, almost all of the new mugs this week. I'm like, OMG, new mugs, who this? They're so cute. I don't need all of the mugs that came out though, don't get me wrong. Some of the mugs that came out, I wasn't feeling or I didn't have a need for. And I'm starting to get to that point too, where it's like, don't just buy crap just because you see it. But I will say, like some things are like, okay, buy it. And if you need to think on it, then think on it and then take it back if you don't want it. Um, because there's a lot of stuff that I have that I wish I had thought on a little bit more. And then there's stuff that I have that I'm glad I got in the end. So it kind of just balances out. So yeah, excited. Kind of sleepy. I didn't get much rest at all <clears throat> last night and the pollen is starting to fall, so it's like messing with me. And um, yeah, me and my son have not been sleeping very well. And then we stay up late because we're like really night owls, but then we have to get up super early in the morning. That's been fun. My Bertha has just been guzzling gas like water. I might have to switch back to Betty. But I'm just happy we don't pay $5 a gallon, that's for sure. But I think that's it for this vlog. Uh, I hope to catch you guys in another vlog real soon. I hope you enjoy these types of videos. If you do, you know what to do. Go ahead and let me know by thumbsing up this video. And I'm going to try to get off of my exit because I don't know where the heck I'm going. Oh, I know where I'm going. Yeah. Let me know if you like these types of uh, videos or let me know what you guys have been finding because I, I do read your comments and I appreciate them and I noticed that a lot of you have been having decent luck in finding things in your area and um, really taking my advice for hunting to heart. So congratulations to you guys and I just hope you stick with it and continue to thrive and you know, hopefully we'll just, we'll get our collections together and it'll be awesome. Because I'm telling y'all, it's on once I start seeing rounds circulate. Again, it is on. Anywho, off topic, I was trying to close. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in my next vlog. Be sure to like and subscribe for future videos, guys. Have a great one.